As an example, from the baseline, you can move your opponent three or four steps. If I hit to the corners, all right, three or four steps. Now, if I move into mid-court, I can move my opponent five or seven steps, a little more of an angle. But when I get up close to the net, when I'm up here, I can angle the ball off from even the quickest opponents. Now, how would you like to hit a shot that even Coria or Hewitt couldn't get to? In order to find out when you should go to the net, you need to find your short ball range. Now, what do I mean by short ball range? Short ball range is an area on the court where you can hit your approach shot. So say this area is around here, you can hit your approach shot and get to a good volley position. Good volley position would be halfway between the service line and the net. You want to get to this position just as or before your opponent hits the ball. So remember, good volley position halfway between the service line and net, right here, before your opponent hits the ball. Short ball ranges vary according to how fast the player is. As an example, let's say a fast player can hit a, an approach shot from this red dot area. So he comes up, red dot area, hits his approach, and he can get into that good volley position before his opponent hits the ball. Now, on the other hand, a slower player, if he tries to hit an approach shot from that red dot area, may come up, hit from that area, and only get to here behind the service line. Now he's vulnerable to passing shots and balls hit down at his feet. So a slower player may have to wait for a ball in the yellow dot area. So he can come up to the yellow dot, hit his approach, and still get to the ideal volley position before his opponent hits the ball. To find your short ball range, play out some points with a pro and hit approach shots from different areas on the court. So hit your approach shot. As you're coming in, have the pro yell now as he's contacting the ball. Now when he yells now, if you're up here in your ideal volley position, that ball was hit in your short ball range. On the other hand, if you're coming up and he yells now and you're behind that service line, that's not your short short ball range. So practice this. It's a great way to find your short ball range. Okay, I'm going to try and find my short ball range now with the help of Fabrice. He's going to yell now just before or as he's striking the ball. Now if I can get up to a, a good volley position halfway between the service line and the net, if I can get up into this area, I should be able to deal with any passing shot attempts. Let's give it a try. Notice as Fabrice is about to make contact, I'm reaching ideal volley position, which is approximately halfway between the net and the service line, and I'm beginning my split step. This will enable you to cut off your opponent's passing shots and to be more effective with your volleys. No. Uh. Notice here that as Fabrice is about to make contact, I have not reached an ideal volley position. I'm still behind the service line, which makes me vulnerable to passing shots and shots down at the feet.
generally speaking, go down the line with your approach shots. This will put you in the best position to cover your opponent's passing shot attempts. However, if you know your opponent has an obvious weak, weakness to one side, let's, see, let's say he has a very weak backhand, then it would be okay to go cross court on your approach. But the problem with going cross court is this. If I take an approach shot from this side of the court, okay, I hit my approach shot cross court. Now as I move in, I've got too much ground to cover my opponent's down the line passing shot. It takes 20% less time for the passing shot to get by the incoming volley or when they go down the line. So there's too much ground to cover. Now on the other hand, when I go down the line, okay, I go down the line with my approach, I come up into this area here. Now I've got one step I can cover down the line, and from here, two steps, I can cover 90% of my opponent's passing attempts. Now if he can hit into that 10%, clap for him, because he deserves to win the point. Okay, on this next point, you'll see why approaching cross court can be risky. Remember, when you go cross court, you're giving your opponent an excellent chance to pass you down the line. On the other hand, when you approach up the line and you get up to a good ideal volley position up into this area, you should be able to handle 90% of your opponent's passing attempts.